Hi, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're gonna answer the question, does a high fat diet cause diabetes type two? Now, recently I'm creating a bunch of videos on this whole concept because in the news, there's all this data that says that uh, you need to stop eating saturated fats because new evidence has come out and you're gonna die of a heart attack or you're gonna get diabetes. So, of course, you send me an email, you know, what do I do? And then I have to, you know, analyze the study. Okay, so this is the study that they're basing this off of. It's called Pathway to Diabetes Through Attenuation of Pancreatic Beta Cell Glycolization and Glucose Transport. Okay, that's the study. I'll put a link down below. Now, what I wanted to do before I change all my videos and you know, tell people the real culprit is saturated fats and it's really not sugar, you can go back to eating your low-fat snack well cookies. Before we do that, let's just kind of cover what the study actually said. Number one, the study was done on mice, not humans. Okay, so there could be a difference with that. Uh, number two, they used uh, mice that were susceptible to becoming obese, getting high blood sugar, developing insulin resistance. They're basically genetically predisposed to getting diabetes type 2. Those mice were called, they're inbreds, they're C57BL slash 6J if you want to look them up. Okay? All right, number three. When you read the study, um, they kind of missed the details about what they fed the mice. So, um, but they did leave a, a little formula that you can then pull a string and see where it came from. So if you actually look at the formula that they fed the mice, and I'll put a link down below, um, this is what you're gonna find. 25%, 25 25.5% 25 of the calories were not fat, they were actually carbohydrates. They used protein called casein, which is a milk protein, who knows if that was organic or not. But here's what they used, maltodextrin, which has the highest glycemic index of any sugar. It's like 110, like table sugar is like 65. So it's, it's way up there. They use cornstarch, genetically modified corn. Sucrose, it's table sugar. So if you combine all the sugars, that comes out to 175 grams of sugar in this so-called high fat diet that you're seeing in the news all over the place. Soybean oil, which is an omega-6, uh, it's an unsaturated fatty acid. It's not a saturated fat. And of course, soy is genetically modified as well. But the main fat they use, which coconut oil, but it was hydrogenated. That's a trans fat. So they're using trans fat, saturated fats, unsaturated fatty acids from soy, which is GMO, GMO corn, and a lot of sugar. Apparently, there is no true uh, standard on a high fat diet. So pretty much you can't really trust what you read in the news. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. But check this out. Here's another study that says a high fat ketogenic diet induces a unique metabolic state in mice. Okay, and I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. They found when you put mice on a ketogenic diet, they lose weight, drop blood sugar, improve glycogen tolerance, and increase their energy. So now you have a diet for your pet mice. You can put them on this ketogenic diet and they're gonna be extremely healthy. All right, thanks for watching. Hi guys, hey listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.